Clear criminalness, 30k, right off the bat. Super easy too, it's just an, an easy bunker where you kill everybody, nothing to it. Grab a, do a defend site right before and get all your free gear. Yeah, it's not quite as efficient as um, just doing like VHRTs or ERTs. Uh, but if you want to mix it up, here you go. And they also used to have those uh, those cave missions, um, clear like clear cave on Daymar. And those would go for 30k and you get 100k worth of head night. Super nice. I haven't seen one of those yet in 318.1, um, but maybe you guys can tell me if you've seen them, if they're still active, I'm, I don't even know. But normally these, these guys are in little craters over here, and you just park outside the crater. Let's see what the deal is with this. Oh, this is a cave. Okay. Maybe this is what. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, dude. So, this is the same cave that I was talking about. Someone did this earlier, it looks like, in their cutty and died in the cave. That's what I'm assuming because their cutlass, if I scanned it, would probably say Faction UEE, which means it's been left for a while. Okay, so luckily. We are here with a backpack. Uh, unluckily, however, I just realized that my guns have despawned off said backpack since I was last in the game. So, you're about to see the dangerous way to do this. We're going to have to grab a gun off an enemy. So if you didn't know, middle mouse button is a takedown. Let's see, I see the flashlight of the man. Make sure he's alone first. Let him get a little deeper. Normally, if you do <laughs> come prepared with a gun, you can just run through this these missions and uh, shoot everybody in the head. Super easy. But the game decided it wanted me to do it the hard way. And I made the mistake of not checking before I proceeded to make sure he's full dead. Shotgun, not exactly ideal for uh, these things, but let's get in there. That was sick. Wait, did I get him? Yeah, I did. This guy doesn't even realize yet. Alright. Wait, there's some guys who are dead in here already. I'm assuming that's from the previous time this mission was spawned. Let's grab a different gun. Because that one is low on ammo now. Shotguns suck anyway. Alright. Perfect. Alright, so you just follow the hole down. Let's keep running. There are places where you can fall in though, so you gotta be careful of that. And it looks like here's our boy. Uh, I don't know why he had nothing on him. I don't know what's up with that, but... Gotta be careful, if your server is more uh, responsive than mine is, then... You might run into trouble with these dudes just running up to them like that, but... Our server... Is uh, nice and slow right now, so we're good. I'm just gonna steal this, bolster it, and steal another one. That way. When we run through this next part, we don't have to worry about picking up another gun. So let's continue down the hole. There's only one actually tricky part in this area. You can actually just drop down that way, but you can get injured sometimes. Um, and the area is... It's only tricky if the game decides to uh, let you mantle or not, because sometimes, as we know, the game doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Hmm, I'm making beans right now. I can smell them in the other room. And we've got ourselves a man. So, no, okay. Yeah, alright, cool. So I'm not looting yet, because... Okay, here's the tricky part. You want to jump to the second rock here. Oh, I screwed it up. 
Okay, now I get to show you what happens when you screw this up. Let me holster this gun. Okay, so you have to climb back up. Okay, and it's letting me mantle, so that's a good sign. Climb back up, and uh, you want to jump to the second rock from there, but I did not get the timing right. But anyway, we're fine. Let's continue. Alright. SMG not ideal for the range, but it's fine. Hopefully they don't snipe me. There are still two hostiles remaining. That one in the, the fog over there? Yes, he is. Could barely see him. This is the last, this is the final room. So they have to be in here somewhere. At least that's how it has always been. Be careful jumping around here in the last room. Because as you saw, there are crevasses scattered about that you can fall into. You're like, you don't want to be falling down in there, you know? So be careful when you hit the jump button. You don't know where you're jumping to. See, I would use the flashlight, but it literally makes things worse, so... Okay, I don't see this guy. Maybe he is back that way and we missed him somehow, but the important part is right here. So as I was saying earlier, I was refraining from looting until I got here because sometimes the looting glitches out. Like, your, it, this mission will make your inventories... Oh, okay. Not what I wanted to do. It'll make your inventory glitch out and load forever. And if you do that, and you have a bunch of Hadnite, it can ruin your inventory of Hadnite, leaving you with nothing by the end. So, I refrain from looting until I'm about to leave. None of these guys seem to have any rocks on them, which is unfortunate. Come on, nobody's got the rocks, dude? What the frick? Still kind of wondering where this last dude is. Kind of scared it's going to fail me. Luckily, these aren't really timed, I don't think. Let's see if we can do the jump right this time. Whoop! Nice! Got it. We're good. So maybe I missed the dude up, uh, up on the top or something. Yeah, you want to check all these guys. If your inventory does start to infinite load, in here, and you have a bunch of good stuff in there, just don't open it again. I found that that can sometimes work if I just leave the inventory alone on my way um, back to the surface and don't touch it until I get to a terminal to sell the stuff, then it will most of the time still be there even though it's infinite loading. So if I was grinding money right now, what I'd want to do is sit down there for a while. You can finish the mission or you, you cannot. Maybe it'd be better even not to so that no one else spawns a mission here. But you sit down there and just mine because after all this is a cave. And there are things to mine in this cave. So That's another reason why these are so lucrative. I know that this is not the way. I'm just going over here because I don't know where this last guy is. So you actually can go deeper into the cave. We were down there, and uh, I said that that was the last room. It is the last room, but you can go deeper in and actually like crawl through a little tunnel and uh, get to more areas. But every time I've ever done this, enemies have never spawned beyond that point. So that's why I said it was the last room. And no one has any Hadenite. Hadenite? Hadenite for me? Which is really unfortunate. Normally, the guys with all the, the rocks would be at the bottom there in that quote final room. Maybe it's just the last guy that I've that I somehow missed who uh, has all the stuff. Oh, it's giving me a marker. Okay, interesting. Where is that marker at? That's below me. Right? Oh no! Did I knock him out? Oh no, he's here. What the frick? Oh, that's awkward. Okay. <laughs> here we go. What? 
There we go. That was him, right? Okay, sick. We cleared all the hostiles. And he has nothing. Let's check all these guys. So that's 30k, which in and of itself is an okay... It's an okay payment for this amount of work. It'd obviously be faster if I didn't bother to loot any of them, but that's the main payment. The main payment for these bunker missions are the loot on the people's bodies. So I'm not sure what the deal is here. I might just be really unlucky. What you can sometimes do is right when you finish, it'll spawn another one and you can uh, grab it. But it doesn't seem to be... You sometimes have to wait a while. Damn, well, unfortunate for us, none of these guys had any hate night. Maybe this is not the best way to get money anymore. What a view. I wonder if this guy had anything good in his ship. Since he left it open. Doesn't look like it. We could theoretically access the ship inventory. Nah, nothing. Alright, well that used to be the best way to uh, make money in Crusader. But uh, we'll have to do another one and see if the loot actually spawns there again. Maybe it was just my bad luck that this one time it didn't happen. Either way, 30k, not a bad sum. I don't regret it. We got some free guns too, so... Anyway, maybe you guys know the answer. Is, it, is that just me or is that changed now? Let me know in the comments. I will see you guys later.